It's Roger once again, Mud Fossil University. We're going to do a little biology and a dual learning lesson today. Because what do you see here? Well, we see biology. And what is it? It is the internal mucosal lining of a fallopian tube. Well, the mucosal lining does what? It makes mucus. And that mucus comes from bacteria that lives there. And the bacteria creates the mucus as a slime to protect itself from the chemistry that's in your body. And additionally, because it's sliming all in this, it protects you. That's a whole other issue. I'm working on that with some other people now about health. But this is, goes to what we're going to see right now. Okay, this is a cave, and it's called the Cave of Swords, and it's a long-running um, fallopian tube or something. Okay, I believe this, well, I know it's down in Mexico, and this is what they call the Cave of Swords, and they discovered this, and it's a big, long place where they started having tourists come, and it pretty much destroyed the place. But um, then later, they were digging through here, um, you can see over here, they, some guys decided they would dig through and go in here exploring or something for further and further and further through, and they broke through into another cave, and it is this cave here, the Cave of Crystals. Now we're going to look into that right now. Back to anatomy class. Now, what do you see here, my friends? You see this round ball? Train your eyes on that ball. Watch the ball. Watch. No, anyway. That is a ball, and that is the stalk that came down to this ball. Very, very, very similar to that ball there. This anchored along with this flexible, strappy thing. It came down and wrapped around. Here, you see it? It came down, wrapped around just like that. See that? Now this got cooked off and blistered off in a different manner and I've done a video about that, why it's blackened here and blistered off all the flesh right down to the tendon, which is this, although the blood boiled and blew out, which is completely littered with blood in this area to soften the claws of this thing. You see these? These are literal claws. And that is the ball, and that's the stalk. Now, that's the tendon. And as it grows in situ, in the body, it starts to form these huge crystallized grabbers inside. And where else would we find something like that? First of all, I want you to look at this. It goes by a lot of names. Selenite, gypsum. There's a, different, a lot of different mineralized names to it, depending upon what's in there. But you could scratch that. You see that? You could scratch it with your fingernail. It's, and it's asbestos, too, in some of its forms. However, it is also involved in this, inside those crystals. Now, I would recommend you go up and watch. This is called Cave of Crystals. Giant Crystal Cave, and it's by Geology Page, and here they are walking through that tendon ball crystal. All of that crystal has been cleaned out from, there'd be matrix of, of some kind of goo inside there when you're alive. They're not hollow like this. So something drove that out, some geological activity. And at the same time, I agree, it would start forming additional little spikes and, and, and bits and things. And that's just the way crystals grow. But most of those crystals were there originally as tendinous material. That's tendon. The, and this is absolutely enormous, this cave. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Look at these guys crawling through there. I'm just going to quickly show you how extremely tiny the fibers are in tendons. That's why they are so absolutely strong. And then you have stuff like this. I believe that's cellulite, to be honest with you. I believe that's where fats are stored and the blood can suck it out of there real quick. And these little black spots, that's where there's blood 
going, and the green and the red is um, where there's the arterial blood. The black is uh, vein blood. And I think that's the cellulite. <laughs> okay, you remember that. I say that is crystal, and I say this also is one of those. Well, you know my claim that that is the a cav cavern ceiling which was inside that tendon ball and those people are crawling through the minerals in the tendon ball and I would like for this for your consideration that the cave of swords the original one with all those spiky things is really a mucous membrane and the cave of crystals is really a tendon enthesis geology really is hard biology and I will leave you this one small step for humankind and one giant leap for the human mind. Mud Fossil University, Veritas, forever.